Laura Victoriano is one of the most intriguing characters in the game The Evil Within. For starters, she's dead, and she's been that way for many years before the events of the game ever even take place. Meaning that we have no interactions with the actual person of Laura Victoriano in the game. Instead, every detail that we learn about her is learned through secondhand sources. However, even though we may not have any true interactions with her, you'll come to know her presence as Ruvik's memories have created a beast that she'll contend with several times throughout the events of the game. Laura and her subsequent fate are probably the biggest catalysts for why the events of the game occur in the first place. You see, Laura was the only person who truly understood her younger brother Reuben. The two had a relationship which was seemingly the healthiest in young Reuben's life, which we can see as they play together in the family's barn in Ruvik's memories. Unfortunately, however, her life was cut short by villagers whose land the Victorianos had bought. They decided to get revenge by burning down the family's barn while the two children were playing inside. As the barn burned down around the two, Laura saved her brother's life by helping him escape through a window in an upper loft. Laura, however, was not so lucky, as the flames engulfed her and she fell from the loft. Ruben, you have to climb! According to a news article from the Crimson Post, Laura survived the ordeal but was left in a vegetative state as a result, eventually succumbing to her wounds at a later date and this loss, in conjunction with his own scarring from the fire, is something that Reuben struggled with for the remainder of his life. In fact, it's this loss that seemingly led Ruvik to the desire to create something like Stem in the first place. His work comes from a place that isn't motivated by fear or money or social standing. His motives are more pure. I would say that he is obsessed with the chance to relive and remold reality so he can be with her again. His scarring is heavy, both physically and emotionally, but he longs for his lost sister. His love for her borders almost on an incestuous level, but as long as it provides motivation, so be it. Reuben would have visions of his beloved sister, sightings of her quote-unquote apparition seemingly similar to the ones that we experience as Kidman in the first DLCs. But for Reuben, these sightings were comforting, helping to pull him back from the brink of total insanity and inspiring him to find a way to see her again. It's also this loss of his sister that helped create the perversion of Laura which we come to know throughout the events of the game, with the most insight we get into its creation coming from its model description reading, a creature born from Laura's tragic death and Ruvik's own vengeance. The thing is nearly immune to bullets, but reacts violently to open flames. With the influences being quite apparent as to her creation within the mind of Ruvik. Her skin discolored and scarred being a nod to the arson, as well as her long flowing black hair resembling what she had in life. Even her weakness is a reference to the fire which resulted in her passing. Outside of these things, however, we don't know much about who Laura Victoriana was, and considering she's already passed before the events of the first game ever even take place, it doesn't seem very plausible that we'll have much interaction with her in the future. However, thanks to Ruvik's memories, she will live on in our minds as one of the creepiest and most vicious enemies that can be encountered while exploring the dark recesses of the STEM system.